Well, it's a hot day here in Ohio in July, but today is Christmas in July. So we're here in Medina, Ohio, so come along with me and enjoy Christmas in July here in Medina, Ohio. And as I said, we're going to be celebrating Christmas in July today. Noel. And this is a museum here in Medina, Ohio that celebrates everything Christmas. So, let's go on in and see if we can get a ticket and go on the tour. They're closed, unfortunately. I think they open at 1 o'clock. And this is the historic district. Medina. Press the button. Go across. Nope. Oh, I guess I can cross. There we go. We have uh, the Medina Farmer's Market. Let's see what this is all about. One sitting on the side there. So let's see. This way, honey. Mmm, definitely organic. Very good. Everything's Ohio. It was called Dan's Dogs, but I think it was rebought by new owners, and now it's called the original Dan's Dogs. They put the original in front of it because it is the original. Dan's Dogs. Doesn't he look cool? Let's go in and see. Wipe your paws for Dan's Dogs. We got Marilyn Monroe here. She's she's your hostess. Hot dog, you'll relish the flavor. Here's the menu. And Dan's dogs. You can see they have uh, the old yeller. Mr. Green's dog. It's topped with our famous beanie chili onion on request. The hula dog is baked beans and pineapple. That's interesting. Dan's famous dog is the Chicago style mustard, relish onion, cucumber, hot peppers, pickle, and celery. So, I don't know if I can go for the hot peppers. Now. But that would be the one I would choose if I could take the hot peppers. And the ribbon dog is a thousand island or mustard, sauerkraut, and cheese. That sounds good. I'll go with that one. Okay, today I got the ribbon dog with the uh, thousand island dressing and sauerkraut on it. And also the dog paws, which are potato pancakes. And I have the, um, the sauerkraut. 
cream with it. So, let's take a taste test and see. And see how good it is. Let's see. Okay. Uh, try the Reuben dog first. Let's see how good it is. in that one. It's really good. Can't complain about that. Dog paws with sour cream. Very good. Very, very good. Can't complain about that. Let's try one more. destination Castle Noel hopefully like I said I hope I can get in because they do take reservations and I'm sure that they are really booked up on the weekends we can see in the windows the different displays that they have from um, different stores Christmas displays that stores had uh, in New York City and beyond and this window display was donated or provided by uh, Generosity of Lord and Taylor Company in New York. And you can see here that they have over two million dollars of animated New York City department store Christmas windows directly from Hollywood, the entire Christmas movie land prop and costume collection. And you can relive your favorite Christmas movie in the I Had That Toyland experience. You can play with the giant toys all here at Castle Noel. And of course, one of my favorite films would be The Christmas Story, which uh, the house is in Cleveland where they filmed the movie at, and you can take a tour of that as well. But right here is a little display of bobbleheads. I guess you were bobble legs, that is. And of course, the iconic lake lamp. Okay, we are officially in. We are reserved. I have my ticket right here for the Castle Noel Christmas Museum and Experience. And I'm waiting right now for the tour to happen. And you can see all of the different gift shop gifts that you can get here. Christmas they have uh, gifts from uh, different movies. Uh, of course, uh, Christmas Story is one I, I mentioned, but also uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And you can get different Christmas themed and elf decor, glasses, ornaments, shirts, whatever you want to get. From my understanding, anything of it first goes on during Christmas. Why was it here at Castle Noel? Cousin Eddie's RV. Come on, on those vehicles to rust. So all that rust is actually painted on by a set designer. We get some of the dirt on the windows is spackled on by a set designer. That is a 1973 Condor, too. It's almost as if Alright, if you have your letter to Santa written already, I know it's almost Christmas in July. Never too early to write a letter to Santa. If you have your letter to Santa written, if you have it with you today, you can drop it in our Santa mail drop. That is in Macy's 2013 window display. Oh, vertigo. 
movie set from 2000's Grinch movie. Mark got that from a lady in Colorado. She had that furniture, but she didn't want to part with it. She wanted to keep that furniture for a cartoon-style who built nail salon she was going to open. But Mark had to convince her that those are movie props, not practical furniture for a nail salon. So he designed and built that salon for her, took it to Colorado, and came back with the movie set we have here today. The reason Cindy Lou Who's bedroom set's not practical furniture for a nail salon hinges on the whole fact that it's not even real furniture. As a matter of fact, your entire bedroom set is made from carved and coated Foam. Before I can open up these double doors, everybody has to go like this. <laughs> this is a safety mm. precaution, guys, because if you're not doing this, and I open those double doors, <laughs> your jaw will hit the floor. That's how cool it is in here, guys. Give me a week before Christmas in July countdown of three, two, two one. one. from the very first Santa Claus movie. As you turn to your left, you're going to see Booster, but nobody wanted a sidekick action figure. Everybody wanted the Turbo Man action figure. Arnold Schwarzenegger's Turbo Man costume from the movie Jingle All the Way. We even have the Turbo Man action figure everybody was after in that movie. As you guys turn around, you're going to see the castle within a castle. By Christmas 2018, that will be a fully functioning operating castle. I am standing next to the large, naughty, and nice glow from the center of Santa's workshop in the Santa Claus 2 and 3, starring Tim Allen. Up on the display case is being watched by those naughty toy soldiers from the Santa Claus 2. This red case is totally dedicated to the Santa Claus 3, which also starred Mark Short and Jack Frost. And then you guys felt sorry to walk around with an antler and that big bunny suit on Christmas morning. Well, guys, try on that bunny suit. Come on, I know you want to. <laughs> Come on, get the picture taken in there. He's about two months old, the castle little well, from the Santa Claus 2 and 3, Shari Tim Allen. We have Comet the Reindeer! This is Captain Noel's very own 25-foot Christmas tree. I think Santa has something to say. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to Castle Noel. It's been exciting having you here, and if you develop a really kind of Christmas spirit, I think our tree will give you a little show! fun here at Castle Noel in Medina, Ohio. Uh, had, a lot, had a blast. 
Uh, unfortunately, you couldn't see me go down the, the sled. There's the, yeah, the slide. <laughs> but, because uh, they took their own pictures and they want to sell that to you, so that's fine. But maybe some, maybe I'll get a copy of it and put it on here. If not, then you did get to see some of the slide. And uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming along with me. And I uh, just hope you enjoy traveling here to Castle Noel here in Medina, Ohio. Have a great day. I'll be back.